I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police. Babe, babe, babe! Fuck it, look, thank you, record it. Record it, call the police. Call the police, thank you, call the police. Call the fucking police. Call the fucking police. Call the fucking police. Is this what this is, babe? I will call the police. Babe, this man put his neck on me. This boy, this man, um, this man just strangled me, man. Just get off me, this man just strangled me. Get the fuck off me. The owner says the incident was not racism, but the protesters outside say the footage is another example of violence against black women. From my experience, when we're training, we're not trained to put our hands around people's necks like that, regardless of the situation. You have training to deal with aggressive customers and that does not include strangulation, doesn't include choking. Yeah. It's just completely disrespectful. The way that people communicate, especially towards black women, needs to be in a more respectful manner. I bought quite a few things from this very store. It's disgusting to see the way that another black woman was treated. The police say the woman was arrested on suspicion of assault and later bailed pending further inquiries. Antoine Allen, ITV News. Start beating me and what should I, what, what should I do? Well, many people are saying that you shouldn't have choked her. No, I did. Choking means like, it looks like I am choking her. What do you, what do you think happened? It's not choking. Like I, at the moment, my hand was like, one hand was at the back. Okay. I was like detaining her. If you could go back in time yeah. to before this incident, See? would you act exactly the same? No, I won't behave the same. I think I was like, I just want to keep her inside. It, it wasn't an intentional, like, it just like get, get around her neck randomly. And if that was your daughter or wife, how would you react? I would react the same way the people are reacting. The same thing is like what the second moment I need to think about, being as a man or something like that, I should ask my daughter, what should you have done? Have you done something? The owner of Peckham Hair and Cosmetics says there's no refund policy on the items the unidentified customer wanted to return. After an argument over policy, the 31-year-old woman went to the back of the store to pick up replacement items, whereas the owner went to the entrance to block her from leaving. At this point, an altercation happened before another customer recorded the now viral choking. For the people that are angry and passionate about what they're seeing in that video, do you have any regrets? Do you have a, a Definitely I have regrets. That's why I'm talking to you like that. These are the regrets. Like when I, when, when I told the police officer, I don't want to press the charges. These are the regrets like at that time. So thank you so much, Sahel, for joining me and having this discussion. I know currently that there is a protest that's happening outside your store in Peckham. And this was down yes. to, you know, the viral video of what I would deem and what other people are saying um, was an abusive and an aggressive interaction that took place between yourself and a customer, which I do <laughs> agree was out of context, hence why we are having this conversation with you today. So, um, you know, <laughs> what are your recollections of what, what happened in your store? She came for a refund for three packs of hair. I told her we don't do refund. Either you can exchange the stuff or you can get a credit out. So whatever you want, I can do that one. She said that one like the lady who was sitting here, she told me you're gonna get a she will get a refund. Now so she is not here at the moment. What I'm telling you now, I am showing you the receipt. And we need 
need to go through what I'm telling you now. So anyways, if you want the refund, then do the refund. But the way you're speaking to me, that's not. She was like quite aggressive, more quickly. And she asked, you going to do it or not? And then she was like yelling at me. And then uh, I told her, in this way, I can't help you. At the last, you told me, are you going to give me my money back? Yes or no? And then I said, no. So this no comes from, an, you know, like being a man, there is an ego inside you. So sometimes you do those things. Then she told me, I'm going to take the stuff from your shop and I will see who's going to stop me. Okay. So she was, so she kind of prompted you in like a threatening manner because she wasn't yeah. happy that she was not receiving a refund. What I want yeah. to ask you, Sahel, is of course, we know that social media can make certain videos go viral at, to a detriment. Yeah. Is it really about gender and race? No, there is nothing to do with the gender or the race. She is as respectful as, a, as my mother, my sister, my daughter. She is respectful. She is the lady of so being a, as a woman. She is the same as the other woman. There is no, nothing like she is she, from some other side of the world. No. As long as your actions make you what you are. It's not your color. There are so many nice people who are coming here and I respect them once because it doesn't matter like they are black or white or whatever. So there are ladies come here and then they do jokes with me. They are black. I am very respectful to them. And they are very respectful to me as well. Are you are you able to show us and the viewers whether the protest is still taking place outside your shop? Because I know you're currently oh. tucked away in your stall somewhere. Yeah. And feel feel free to, to speak as you Okay, so this is you now walking through. How many how many people do you think are outside? Three to four hundred people, I think so. I'm and showing you from and how is this making you feel? I know you told me earlier that you had been receiving death threats since the video went viral. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. yeah, yeah. I was receiving calls from America, from Jamaica, <clears throat> from Canada. And this is all coming from local, from anonymous numbers. So we can see out there. So you've had to, of course, yeah. close your shop today, haven't you? Yeah. So... The hell, you know, had this have been a man, would your response have been the same? Um, or is this just a case of a shop owner protecting his business from which in the past we've seen some customers can be aggressive? Yeah, there are. There are people, there are people aggressive. Like sometimes we, we, we catch some shoplifters and they, they got the same thing. Like, you know, like I don't like this card whenever they play. I am black, that's why you are doing this thing. No, I am not doing this thing because you are black. Your actions are showing me, they are the responsible for, for my actions, but what, what I am doing. So when you, of course, were in touch with the police at the time, what what have yeah. the police said to you about this? They are, of course, not pressing any charges against you, but were they going to press charges against the, the, the lady? The, the, the lady who arrested the, the, the woman. She told me, if I saw this video, this is totally against you. We're going to press charges against you. And then I told her, like, okay, you want to see the CCTV and then see what has happened. Then you can do what you want to do. I see that. Then I provided them over there and then, they, well, and then what they did, they did. I mean, as a shop owner that's obviously experienced this now, what advice would you give to other shop owners when it, you know, especially independent ones that are not the big retailers when you do encounter yes. a situation like this it is a hard situation that can be raised at any time so you either like you can't avoid them